Praise the Lord. Good evening to everybody. And happy feast to every one of you. And very particularly to our beloved fathers who are uh, celebrating the feast and uh, bearing the name of uh, St. Joseph. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When thinking about uh, the feast of St. Joseph and uh, giving a message for you today, I was just going through your uh, songbook here. Has somebody got the songbook? The, yeah, is there with you now. Okay. I was turning to page number 245, which gives a very good uh, detailed description about the theological and the documental matters uh, regarding our patron saint, the patron of the cathedral, and the patron of uh, our archdiocese. Because it's already printed over there in the book. I don't want to go in detail about it. It's, you can read it conveniently. Uh, it's a very, uh, very good uh, information. Just uh, bring to your notice one or two points. As our uh, beloved Monsignor was introducing us into the Holy Mass, talking about St. Joseph, he said about many qualities of St. Joseph. One among them, which I observed when he was talking, was he was a silent man. He was a silent man. And, uh, well, let me ask you before I go further, what was the first sentence which St. Joseph spoke, which is recorded in the Bible? What was the first sentence which St. Joseph spoke, which is recorded in the Bible? Anybody? You don't know? What is the first? Absolutely, Father, these people don't know anything. But I appreciate you for your silence also. You know why? Because nothing is recorded <laughs> as St. Joseph spoke in the Bible. <laughs> so, when we said... He was a silent man. Yes, the Bible is also silent about uh, what Joseph spoke. And I would say that silence is great. And today it's good to meditate and to reflect on the silence of St. Joseph. And in the context, we are celebrating the feast of our parish patron. St. Joseph is also the patron saint of all the family. Am I right? Patron saint of all the family, which means he is the head of the family, the holy family in Nazareth. Nowadays, you see a lot of problems in the family. Mostly, it is because of over talking. Maybe the husband said something, and the wife retorted to it, and then it went into an argument, and nobody wants to surrender. Each one is holding to their own position and it will go up and go up even to the extent of even coming into a divorce. And even coming to the extent of a, a physical assault. Maybe when the husband was talking, right or wrong, let it be. We are not arguing upon it. If the wife was a bit silent at that moment, things would have been different perhaps. The unfortunate things happen may not have happened. In the same manner, when the wife is talking, maybe for something or other, if the husband kept quiet about it, things would have been different. When mommy and daddy talking something, children, they also want to argue upon it. And even to the extent, one day I was talking to somebody, and this girl about just 12 years old only, Telling the mommy, mommy, don't try to teach me. Don't you know I'm in my pre-teens? I know what to do. Oh, big words. I could not understand fully. Mommy, don't you know I'm in my pre-teens? Then I was reflecting, oh, what is that? 13. Oh, that is teenage. Pre-teen. One minus that. Oh, that means this girl is trying to tell the parents, I'm 12 year old now. 
and these parents may have lived maybe maybe uh, 40 years 50 years 60 years and telling the parent i know what to do i am in my pre teens so this silence becomes important sometimes maybe in the parish council there is a discussion going on and for one silly matter maybe what the parish priest said or maybe others said an argument started on that one and it took two parties and each one wants to establish what i said it it will become in a big division in the prayer group sometimes and various other such meetings i was trying to say the silence of saint joseph is a holy silence no it does not mean that he has nothing to speak that silence was also talking volumes when the angel of the lord came and told mary that you are going to bear a son and you will conceive and, and give birth to a son mary also asked a question back how is it possible we reflected on it yesterday am i remember yeah mary also how is it possible i'm yet a virgin i did not sleep with my husband yet but when joseph came to know that his wife to be a uh, betrothed uh, the the one who is betrothed is found with a child is pregnant he in his silence he decided not to hurt her in public not to humiliate her in public not to insult her in public the good quality of saint joseph he could have been doing it rightly allowed in the law of moses if a woman is found in adultery she should be brought for the trial before the public and should be stoned to death in public and that was the law when that law allows joseph did not want to insult or hurt her the goodness of joseph i was telling the silence of it when he could have been arguing and establishing i never had any relation with this woman now therefore she is a sinful woman he could have been stopping the silence of joseph there he was a just man so what do we understand by the just is not what you know give or take what deserves you is something more than that and something more than that joseph being a righteous man i don't want to hurt the other person and he could have been asking the question then he gets a dream yesterday we spoke about another dreamer another joseph i think these josephs are known for dreams <laughs> yesterday we had the son of jacob joseph who had two dreams am i right okay now so we spoke about it yesterday now here is another joseph here he also gets a dream and uh, our pope francis is very fond of our joseph sleeping joseph is it because he does not talk back anything francis pope francis he said if you have got a problem if you need anything write your prayer and petition and keep it under saint joseph the sleeping joseph i tell you my brothers and sisters i also tried this when i was in goa somebody gave me a statue of sleeping joseph i tried to wake him up sometimes but he was always sleeping <laughs> so that was a small one on my table and when people come and ask for the prayers and petitions when they come for counseling i should write down their names and their needs and keep it under the st statue of joseph not only just keeping over there definitely pray over that also and i have come across those prayers were granted later somebody gifted a bigger statue of saint joseph which is almost uh, uh, six feet long so i kept it in the chapel and i saw people when they come for the prayer for the adoration they used to write down their prayers and petitions i know they used to keep it underneath and once a week i used to pick up those prayer petitions bring it before the altar before the adoration and pray in the presence of the blessed sacrament i tell you once again the prayers offered to saint joseph it was granted 
Hallelujah. 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 It's not because just keeping under the under the statue there. What matters is you are really giving in the hands of Saint Joseph, the patron saint. The patron saint, the one who will be lifting our prayers and petitions in the hands of Jesus. The hands of Jesus. I was listening to a message of Father Augustine Valuran on the feast of Saint Joseph. Father Augustine was mentioning like this. Saint Joseph Saint Joseph the custodian of Jesus how Jesus must have been calling Joseph how do you think what how Joseph would have been calling uh, sorry not Joseph how Jesus would have been calling Joseph he was a Hebrew man Jesus was a Jew How did Jesus call his father? Hey, say something. Abba Father, say it loud. Abba Father. Okay, Jesus called Abba Father. God the Father. So, how do you think Jesus must have addressed Joseph also? Abba Father. Am I right? Abba Father. Therefore, see, to Abba Father, you must see Jesus, Son of God, calling Abba Father El El Lama Sabakhtani calling oh my God calling God Abba Father same way when Jesus was a baby when Jesus was a boy how he would have been looking at Joseph and calling Abba Father right Abba Father therefore the same way how Jesus was addressing God the Father so the face and name of Abba Father was being seen on the face of Joseph Abba Father in the same manner when we call Joseph also if Jesus called Joseph Abba Father how we will also call Joseph Abba Father Abba Father of Jesus yes that calling that means it shows an intimacy it shows a nearness where you can be open therefore heaven coming down heaven coming down Abba Father God the Father is presented in the face of Joseph Saint Joseph the custodian of Jesus when we celebrate the feast of our patron saint remember that Abba Father the image and the face is present here when we had been carrying the statue of Saint Joseph I was standing then I saw our Monsignor standing near to Saint Joseph father said we were planning for a procession yes what does this procession mean when somebody is carrying the statue or we are going in front of that I was thinking of two things I will tell more about later and I saw people standing in line and they put a stick and had been carrying Saint Joseph on the shoulder on the shoulder right and look at that over there yesterday I referred to that also do you see a similar thing over there near the relics of Holy Cross a small box there and a stick on it it is the symbol of the Ark of the Covenant it is a symbol it's a replica of the Ark of the Covenant so the people of Israel wherever they went they carried the Ark of the Covenant when they are to face the battle they carried the Ark of the Covenant when they are to fight against the Philistines they carried the Ark of the Covenant what was there in the Ark of the Covenant the last of the manna and the ten tablets and the staff of Aaron the high priest so the priest presence Jesus presence the low present and that was in the Ark of the Covenant and they were carrying the Ark of the Covenant David carried the Ark of the Covenant remember my brother my sister therefore Saint Joseph when he was going to Bethlehem going to Bethlehem for uh, the enumeration over there Mary was really the Ark of the Covenant Mary the Ark of the Covenant I will tell about it tomorrow and Joseph was literally taking the Ark of the Covenant 
within the ark of the covenant there is jesus the blessed sacrament the the last of the manna the bread of life the ark of the covenant jesus if moses was the lawgiver in the old testament jesus is the lawgiver in the new testament therefore the law the the the, the ten tablets and then the priest the, the 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 staff of aaron aaron was a priest jesus the high priest jesus the high priest and therefore the high priest the law and the lawgiver is jesus himself who is in the womb of mary that's why in the in our litany mary ark of the covenant and therefore joseph was taking the ark of the covenant to bethlehem yes and there remember when joseph had the dream do not be afraid to take mary as your wife the ark of the covenant already so that means giving a promise joseph you are going to be with the ark of the covenant the new testament you are going to carry the ark of the covenant in the new testament you are going to be the custodian of the ark of the covenant in the new testament therefore when joseph had the second dream in bethlehem take up the baby and his mother and go to egypt go to egypt we say the flight to egypt therefore joseph went by flight to egypt or not so joseph was literally carrying the ark of the covenant to egypt remember that was a power of the people of israel to come out of egypt from the bondage the ark of the covenant and if so why the ark of the covenant to be in egypt to liberate the people there and bring the freedom and once again joseph getting the dream take the ark of the covenant go back to the promised land go back to nazareth ark of the covenant joseph the custodian of the ark of the covenant you don't see joseph talking anything anywhere there he could have been arguing with the angel he could have been arguing with mary look at that like any other parent when the boy jesus was lost as we read in the bible today when he was found lost and found in in, in temple there could have been calling i told you so many times don't leave the hand of your mommy where dad you do hey. <laughs> like anyone else may do did joseph do that again silent only mary spoke how come that you did it your father and me mary giving the first place to her husband your father and mary did not say i and your father no your father and me giving mary always gave that place to the husband and the head of the family and taught the boy why you know one one thing mentioned over there your father and me had been searching for you which means telling jesus also your father first your father first then only i come your father and me yet you will see joseph silent and who was a just man and he is a patron of all the family people and we know joseph is a patron for good death am i right yes and joseph definitely he is the custodian of the word of god custodian of the word of god and that word of god today is with you my brother my sister so as i wind up once again i wish and pray the power of the presence of saint joseph be with you and why god why do you think that god talked to joseph in the dream why not otherwise put it in a very simple way when you are awake you will have your arguments you take your conscious mind and put it against god when we are sleeping what happens our conscious mind is surrendered all the subconscious mind is active and important things happen just before i wind up in the same manner when god gave the promise to abraham and the promise before it was being ratified the covenant you will see Abraham went into a deep sleep as you read the book of Genesis chapter 15. He went into a deep sleep at that time. And during that short sleeping time, God revealed everything to him. For the time that, you know, what is going to happen and about your children and children in the fourth generation, going to Egypt, from there you will come back and you will be buried and you will, in a good old age, 
all that thing is revealed to him in dream and this is what in the charismatic level many people talk about what we call resting in spirit one may ask father why some people they fall down why somebody is laying the hand and then people are falling down and why they go into a kind of trance resting in the spirit it really happens that way in the resting in the spirit in split seconds millions of matters and centuries and ages will be revealed to you like this like this it is in a microchip form or in the nano form which you cannot uh, uh, you know comprehend your human mind cannot comprehend that which is beyond this mind will be put in there within split seconds when you go into that trance that was experience of abraham and that was experience of joseph in the dream not only what is recorded in the bible many more things were revealed to him that's why he did not speak much because it was being revealed to him and not only just one or two things what we read over here and many more secrets and the mysteries of the incarnation and the mysteries of the redemption and the mysteries of the glory of god was being revealed to joseph in the sleep in the dream and may the same joseph come and appear for you also in the dream i mean the lord bless every one of you and in the session of saint joseph let there be healing deliverance blessing and anointing thank you and god bless you